What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for the Super Nintendo? Yes. Now you're playing with power, super power. My dear, may I have $100? Why? Because I'm going to build a Super Nintendo game library on just $100. So I first saw this video by Mega Dan, who is covering a few other consoles now as well. Who farted? But the Super Nintendo one really gripped me. I love the Super Nintendo and I started thinking, could I do that? So okay. the idea is to go off of price charting. That way, you know, there's there's kind of a, an average price. I mean, obviously you can probably find better deals on some of these games, so on and so forth. But this way it keeps everything, you know, as kind of even and official as possible. Okie doke. Now I am looking at games that I like but also games that I feel have some kind of replayability and sustainability. Because these are the only games library. you can have. Right. Uh, so, you know, I mean, hey, first and foremost, we gotta go with Chrono Trigger with just, uh, oh, um, okay. Well. No. That's, that's not going into the collection. No. All right, well, a game that does fit into the price range is Gradius 3. Now, I am not going with complete inbox. I'm actually just going to go with cart-only prices. Now, Gradius 3 is a fantastic side-scrolling shooter from Konami back in the days when they knew what they were doing best with their games. You can finish the game, but you can always try to be better at it. You know, mm -hmm. go for that no-death run. See how many times you can cycle through it. Well, so the nice thing about Gradius 3 is you have various loadouts for your weapons, so you can go through one playthrough with just this loadout, and the next one with just this. You know, kind of create your own challenges so to yourself. how much is just card only? So card only for Gradius 3 is $15.48. So very affordable, right out the gate. Not too bad. That 48 cents is very important. Hey, every penny matters. <laughs> What's next? Next is Killer Instinct. Now, I'm not that great at fighting games. Killer Instinct is a fun fighter. You have a myriad cast of characters. It's by the fantastic people at Rare, of course. It <laughs> looks gorgeous. The Killer Cuts CD is still the bomb. I, I actually do listen to that every now and then. Who says the bomb anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is something that you've got co-op. And so I can play. As a fighting game, I mean, you have a whole roster of characters to go through, you know, to try to beat the game with every single character, various difficulties. Yeah. I mean, this is something that has some long legs to it. Okay, and how much is this one? So Killer Instinct Cart only is $13.99. $13.99 today only. Not bad. One more thing I should uh, toss out there. As of filming this, it is September 2022. So the prices on price charting, this is what they were in September 2022. Alrighty. And they have changed. Okay, so this one was kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. SimCity on Super Nintendo. This is one of those chill games. You have so much replayability. You could sink hours upon yes. hours into a game like this. Um, I know that you love The Sims. I do love The Sims. But did you ever dabble with Sims? I City? dabbled a little bit in Sim City. It just wasn't as much fun to me, just because it was, you know, making buildings and stuff like that. And, Fair enough. You know, I enjoyed more of the, the the more detailed of people doing things rather than just a building. I tell you what, stuff. the way that The Sims franchise has gone, uh, I don't think you're the only one that preferred <laughs> that over The City. But again, something that has a ton of replayability. I yes. mean, this this is perfect to have in your library. Well, and then the Nintendo one added some extra stuff to it, didn't they? Uh, yeah, like fun little touches. For instance, the Godzilla-style monster that you can have destroy the town that you worked so hard to create <laughs> is Bowser in this. So Why how not? great is that? Best of all, this thing comes in cart only $10.00. 33 cents. Well, there you go. So already, I mean, we're we're not breaking the bank at all here, and we've got some nice long play options. You do? Yep. What you got next? Well, speaking of long play options, I slightly cheated with this one. And I went with the Super Famicom version of Super Mario Kart. By the way, it is in a lovely dust sleeve by Video Game Dust Sleeves. Plug, plug. <laughs> Thank you for that commercial. When I was looking up Super Mario Kart on price charting, the American one was way too expensive. 
versus the Super Famicom version, which is only nine dollars ninety two cents. That's interesting. And seeing as how it's Mario Kart, I mean, you don't have to speak the language to play Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. so it's perfect. You can still play it. Another co-op offering. There you go. Uh, you know, slight little modification with that Super Nintendo if you need to, or you know, just pop a Game Genie in there, and then you don't have to modify anything. This is it, my friends. This is Galoob's hottest. It's got a 128 pin fastback connector and a book of goodness here that'll take your gaming to the next level. Now for me, it was very important to try to get an RPG in on this list, but oof, that's where you run into some problems because the Super Nintendo had an amazing library of RPGs. So amazing that it made me such a Squaresoft fanboy that when the Nintendo 64 came about and Square went to PlayStation 1, that's where I went. Goodbye, Nintendo. Oh. Bye, Felicia. But that's the other problem. People love their RPGs and they are not cheap. I yeah. think you've seen that a yes, I time have. or two, especially <laughs> at conventions. Yes, especially at conventions. Fortunately, Wanderers of Yeast. Why, yes. <laughs> three comes in at $19.97. <laughs> and this really isn't a bad RPG. It's, uh, it's a lot more like action RPG. Think of Zelda 2, but with more of a 16-bit sprite-based format, and there's, uh, you know, some fun cutscenes and everything. One complaint that this game will often get is the difficulty. But, like with any RPG, that difficulty is only there unless you start grinding away or yeah. training, you know? Just level your character up. Seriously, give this game a go. It's a nice side-scroller, RPG elements, just do yourself a favor and the first half hour or so 40 minutes spend killing some of those lower level creatures and start leveling yourself up from the get-go it'll make the experience that much easier and when you're having fun with it then i think that you'll really find a great game here because yeah. not a lot of people talk about this but you know patience take time be, be strong <sighs> Okay, so for the last game in my $100 Super Nintendo library, this is where the biggest chunk of change was spent at $30 even. I very specifically wanted this one. This is Super Mario All-Stars with Super Mario World. Now, if you're going to have a Super Nintendo collection, come on, you've got to have a Mario game, and you might as well go all yeah. out. On one cartridge, you get five games. So you've got Super Mario Brothers 1, 2, and 3, plus the Lost Levels, the original Mario 2 in Japan, all done up in that gorgeous 16-bit nice, style. Nice. And then you have the stellar Super Mario World, honestly probably my favorite side-scrolling Super Mario game of all time. You have it all in one cartridge, and that means that you have so much gameplay yeah. right there it really is worth a lot for the 30 bucks yeah i mean five games for 30 dollars you know it's really bulking up that library with yeah. just one cartridge here's the best part mm -hmm. we've got one two three four five six ish, ish games <laughs> my grand total came up to 99 dollars 69 cents 69, man! <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill S. Preston. Esquire. Ted, Theodore Logan. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the whole purpose of the games that I chose were things that I felt like I would have a lot of fun playing, but wouldn't ultimately get sick of right off the bat. You know, having five Mario games to choose from, having a racing game that has, you know, near infinite replayability. Same with a mm -hmm. fighting game, with a shooter, with a city builder simulation game. And then, of course, getting some RPG yeah. love in there for when you need a little longer form gameplay experience. Now, when Mega Dan did his video, he did not tag anyone. So I'm not going to tag anyone. Let's not get into that mess because then, you know, someone's like, oh, you should have tagged me. I would have loved to do it. But I would love to see a video response. Let us know what would be in your Super Nintendo library for $100. Yeah, it'd be very interesting.
Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it... We nerd it, definitely, for the Super Nintendo. And I have fantastic news for you. We already have all these games, so I can use that $100 elsewhere. No. This is worth a shot, guys. Hey, where's Mario Paint? Can we try this again? Yes. Ready? Yes. Why, well, yes. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got no merch. Oh, it's. How do I start? <laughs> Super Mario Brothers, Mario 2, Mario 3, and Super Mario USA. 4つのゲームとおまけにニューゲームもついて1つのソフトにスーパーファミコンソフトスーパーマリオコレクション